when and how did you find out about George Mason College becoming um, George Mason University? Well, uh, <laughs> being a member of the apathetic majority, I didn't take, uh, and you know, and being a commuter school like it was, I didn't take much part in what was going on on the campus. Mm -hmm. But basically what we did was we received a notice, I don't recall whether it was in the mail or whether it was handed to us or what, could have been handed out in classes just as easily, I, I don't really know. But uh, in essence what they told us was we have the option of having George Mason College of the University of Virginia or George Mason University on our diplomas. And I thought, oh gee, what am I going to do, you know? You have two ways of looking at that, and we can hit it with the conservative and the liberal thing again, yeah. my being the very liberal. Uh, the reason for that, uh, I don't know, I guess you can look at conservatives and liberals. The conservatives were the guys who were going to wear white shirts and ties to go to work, and the liberals were the ones who were going to go out and get their hands dirty like myself, mm -hmm. and which I've done in a lot of my jobs. But, but anyway, looking at it from that viewpoint, the conservative would look at it, and a lot of people, I think the, a, a pretty vast majority chose George Mason College of the Univers University of Virginia. And the reason they did that is they wanted a certain level of prestige on there. And if it said something of the University of Virginia, you get a certain level of prestige that uh, doesn't, doesn't translate to George Mason University. But I, my thoughts on the matter were, I, I wanted George Mason University on it. I saw potential for the place. Mm -hmm. And I looked at it and saying, well, you know, I think maybe they're going to be something someday. And uh, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chance it and say George Mason University. And so I had that put on my phone. That's great. Um, yeah, the figure was 100 shows. Oh, they haven't let me down yet, by the way. <laughs> 100 shows, uh, George Mason College of UVA, and 16 shows, um, George Mason University. Okay. So, um, so, you, so you're talking about how you saw um, potential. What, what, is, what did you see as the future, then, of George Mason? University when you were when you were leaving. Well, one of the things I saw was when I came in, there were six buildings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was the quad, the north, north, south, east, and west buildings, right. crew hall, and you know they have the the various names. I forget what they are right off the end. And the lecture hall was there because I know we used to have our fraternity meetings in there on Sundays. Uh -huh. And the library, not in its current form, uh, where we're sitting, was not here. In other words, the, the multi-story addition had not been put on there. It was uh, just like the, it was the just flat the part? Yeah, just the okay. short flat part. Okay. And the stacks were all in that section in there. Everything mm -hmm. was there. And uh, probably woefully inadequate for a graduate student, but for the undergrads that we all were, it was, it was enough. Mm -hmm. Got us by. Okay. So you saw But it uh, as, as it was, that was it when I came in. Now, while I was here, they built Thompson mm -hmm. and put that together, and that was completed. And the ground had been broken for Student Union One. Okay. Uh, we had a place to eat, if you want to call it that, which was in the basement of one of the buildings. We called it, it was called The Ordinary. Oh, really? Yes. I had never heard that. It was called The Ordinary. Okay. And uh, that was the place we'd go down. It was a sort of a little cafeteria thing. You could go up and get sandwiches and a couple of other things up in there. I had a room that had pinball machines in it. Another place I spent entirely more time than I should have. <laughs> Hopefully as we get older we get wiser. <laughs> That's what I heard anyway. I don't know. <laughs>